before God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, good morning to you, everybody. And today is April 23rd, Thursday of the uh, second week of Easter. Once again, I wish you all a good day. May the risen Lord give you peace and joy. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for our salvation of the world brought about the paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to us ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. <clears throat> when the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than man. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though, through, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree, God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord hears the, the cry of the poor. poor. The Lord comforts the evildoer to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of, of the poor. poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, 
out, but out of them all the Lord, out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the poor. poor. Your blessing, Father. May the Lord be in your heart and the lips, that you may proclaim his word worthy and well. May the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, to you Lord. Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he had has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration the gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank Praise you. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, <clears throat> in today's gospel passage, Jesus explains his divinity to Nicodemus and his relationship with God the Father and God the Holy Spirit. It is Jesus' divinity which gives authority and veracity to his teaching and credibility to his promise of eternal life for his followers. Jesus claims that as John of, Son of God, he comes from heaven. Hence, he can speak of God and heaven from his own experience, just as the native of a town can speak authoritatively about his town. That also means his teachings are reliable. While the Jews believed that prophets were given only a small share in God's spirit, Jesus, as God's only son, shares the fullness of God's spirit, and hence his teachings and promises are always reliable. He gives eternal life to his followers. He who believed in the Son has eternal life. He who does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God rests upon him. So therefore, we need to seek the daily guidance and strengthening of the Holy Spirit living within us because it is he who reveals divine truth to us. And who gives us a better and clearer understanding of scriptural truth taught by the church. And we sincerely, our destiny depends on our own free daily choices. We need to choose Christ and his teachings and stand for Christ's ideas and ideals. And so we need to choose Jesus in order to choose life.
Today's Mass is being offered in memory of Ruth Peel Keppel. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we will receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual uh, bread of life. Blessed we'll be God, God for forever. Uh, Three more morning. Show the living of Christ. We can have himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and oak of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. With the humble spirit and humble heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight to this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. O Lord, wash me, for 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 me, Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at hand, hand for the praise, praise and glory of his name, yes. for our good and the good of the whole church. May our prayers rise up to you, Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more graciously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light are raised to eternal life, and the halls of heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising to life of all he has risen. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, even the heavenly powers, with the angelic house, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down the Spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for us. You. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death to our Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, David our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven Hallowed, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace nowadays, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter and tell my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My dear brothers and sisters, let us join together in the prayer of spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, once again I wish you all a good day. And let us be united in prayers. May the risen Lord give you peace and joy for you and to your family. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go Amen. in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard, safeguard against the wickedness and snares, and snares of, of the devil. devil. May, May God, God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Joseph. Good Saint Joseph, as you led the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, Watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our Bishop, and our priests. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the Church. With Mary, you raise Jesus the High Priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Amen. <clears throat>